and share my testimony with you guys. And I'm kind of nervous and forget about what I was going to say right now, but I just kind of start to lose patience. <laughs> okay. So, starting when I was uh, uh, little, around eight or nine, I can say that I was a lazy girl. <coughs> And lazy to go to church and lazy to go to Bible study. And even my mom and parents wanted me to go to like Bible study. I didn't go, but I go once a month, once a week. And I did listen to them. And when I got here, I thought then my life would be changed. But I don't think it, it's not going to happen. But in like two, uh, in 19, two, the to the nine and to the ten, I started uh, going to uh, join Bible study group, and I attend about like a few months. Then I quit and I stopped coming because I still kind of lazy a little bit. And when I go, like uh, I don't, and I don't like uh, get it. You know, not get. I don't get the word that uh, they were teaching and they were saying. And so I stopped going and instead of coming, I'm just uh, stay home and use my time and actually use. And there's uh, and like a, a, a friend out there that encouraged me and helped me out and uh, invite, still invite me. Like to a camp because you know like uh, I feel like um, I, uh, even like I stay away from like I say the more I stay away from uh, away from it then the more I stay away from God. So he keep uh, um, tell me to go. It's okay, and then we invite you, we welcome you. No one's gonna hurt you. And that person that I was gonna say is Antura. Oh. Yes. <laughs> keep on saying that and then I'm just giving excuse you know every time but later on then I'm chasing as the other they are um, asking me so uh, once uh, well, one time I was thinking then yeah I should I will laugh and I should go you know you really want I should go and listen to it you know and then I'll go so um, about like a year uh, later uh, a year or two years later I get a lot better and I, I do more, like I listen to it, and I try to understand, I think about it, and then I learn more. And that's a big thing for me, like, uh, that changed my life. And to be like, to see that now, uh, oh, and, and after, like, uh, I think 2012, yeah, after two, uh, like 2012, we learned about uh, getting baptized, and then something, like, uh, changing my heart, and no one that, like, not even my parents, my mom, and they were like, are sure you ready to get tired? And I said, yes, I'm sure I'm ready to get tired and ready to be a, a Jesus disciple. So my heart told me to get baptized, so I get baptized. And I can see that I'll be a, a good girl living like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and see, I feel like I listen to a, a, a read the Bible a little bit and learn for it and um, go to a Sunday school, go to Bible study. Then I kind of like uh, know more about him, and he kind of close to me, really close to me. So like um, as you can see right now, I wanted I wanted to like to uh, I wanted to teach a uh, little kid, but even I try my best, you know, and you know some other and most <laughs> people <laughs> uh, choose me and not do to be uh, to help our people, uh, to help little kid. So I think. I'm ready for you without that, and without God, then I would be this, and I would be like a, a girl like I were. So I just want to thank all of you guys, some sister, and friends. So, God bless you.